Hey guys, it's Beano, and we're signing up a new RP uh, for the game uh, on the Nintendo DS, if you can't tell. It's by Game Freak. Um, yeah, Game Freak. Yeah. Except the only thing is that they only make one kind of video game, and that's Pokemon! And this is Pokemon Diamond. Yeah. So we're going to start it up. I'm playing this on the no cash GBA emulator. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm, I'm sorry if you hear noises outside, by the way. Um, there's lots of track work, because I live near uh, the train tracks, and unfortunately, there's some people who like to use... Actually, no. No, that may be a neighbor, I don't know. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor, because, I don't know, trees are just general. Uh, before I go further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm... Uh, so basically, he can tell you how to control and do stuff. So this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button, if you please, okay? I don't know why they do this, but anyway. Oh my gosh! Emulate freeze. Oh my gosh, it's the best Pokemon in the world! It's Munchlaxa! Oh my gosh! We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. It's times we play together, and other times we... Oh, 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 gosh! Please don't interpret that wrongly like I did. Oh, gosh. Anyway, some people use their Pokemon to battle. Like us, pretty much. What do I do? I do research. Boring. Seriously, you have a Munchlax and you do research? Tell me a bit about yourself? Okay. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Um, well, unless if if you look like either of these guys is a bit mixed, but I'm gonna go with this guy because this guy's apparently the boy. <laughs> Whoever asked this question in real life? Tell me, what is your name? Anyway, I'll put in my name. Uh, I am... I'm gonna use my mouse because Magic Emulator lets you do this. I'm using an emulator just so you guys kind of have the screen here. Thankfully, there's seven letters for being there. Yes, I am being there. That's what I just said. A fine name that is. Well, someone agrees with me. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Now his name is Barry. According to the anime and stuff like that. I don't watch the anime though. Thankfully there's Bulbapedia. Best place for anything Pokemon. I'm not endorsed by them in any way. I'm just saying thanks for giving me info because I'm, I've typed up notes and stuff. So anyway, you'll meet people along the way. Perhaps people... Anyway, link to the world! Shrink, 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 shrink. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. Anyway, that concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide.net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Anyway, uh, first thing I'm going to do is head into the options so I can change the text speed on fast because it will need that. I also need the button mode to be on star equals X. Uh, anyway. Anyway, so here's, uh, this game was, uh, made in 2007. So it's pretty new. Since it's an emulator of a DS game, DS emulators aren't perfect right now, and unfortunately, there's a bit of a graphic issue. Uh, Performance-wise, it actually works fine, except for that one time. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a graphic issue uh, in battles and stuff, because moves and stuff don't come out the right way. Anyway, yep. So we're going to... Oh, gosh. Oh, yes, don't go into tall grass. You're okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is Twin Leaf Town, the first town in the game. You got sidebars there, and you can use that just to tell which wild Pokemon are in the areas. We don't have any wild Pokemon in this place, so... Hi, you know, Barry was looking for you. I think he's home. Okay. We got the big houses. Oh, yes. We're living grand. Oh! Thud! What was that about? Oh, hey, b and Hey, I'm going to the lake, and you be quick. Okay, I'm finding you a million Pokedolls if you're late, which is ironic, because you can you 
can hold only one less than that. Oh jeez, forgot something. Okay. I'm gonna go. That gives us time to get a head start because jeez, he's a fast runner. Hi, Barry was looking- what? Oh, see, so I actually have to go look for stuff. You think- you think he'd be all- actually, no. Maybe not now. Anyway, so there's his mum, hopefully. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey man, uh, we're going to the lake. Um, you just said- No, now it's 10 million, jeez. Jeez, wow. You're a bit- Plus, it takes forever to get 10 million Poke Dollars because you only get about 100 every time you beat someone. And I keep imagining that Poke Dollars are like cents. So, technically, if you beat a trainer at the beginning of the game, you get about $9. So, technically, that only costs about $100,000, which is still pretty low. Anyway, you saw that news report, you know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That joke got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that too. Wow, what a coincidence! Maybe. I don't know, we haven't proven it yet. Oh, jeez. Um. So, yeah, um. Just here's the problem. I don't think you'd be allowed swimming in the lake, especially if you decided to bring your bag. What's going on? Um, two people are looking at a lake. Professor, there isn't... Oh, sorry, hi, boys. Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side. I have a... Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leading. So anyway, this is Dawn, and this is Professor. How do you enjoy being back in the center after four years? I think, I think that's breaking the fourth wall since it's been four years since the previous Pokemon game that wasn't the main, the main kind of game. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Oh. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Oh, gosh. Anyway. What was that about? Those two, they seem suspicious. They they might be main characters. Anyway, let's go check it out. What's that? Don't go into tall grass? No problem. We won't be long enough for them to go. Oh, gosh. Gosh, I've just been playing Pokemon Black, and jeez, there's times where I take a step in it and uh, a Pokemon. A briefcase? What are we gonna do? Oh snap! Per Pokemon, what's going on? So anyway, open the case and we have our first decision of Pokemon, Pokemon, no, Poke Monsters. Anyway, look, there's Pokeballs. Which one do you want? Now there's three Pokeballs here, and unfortunately they're coming out a bit weird on the emulator. Anyway, so the first one we got here is Turtwig. Turtwig is a good, uh, he's a good fighter. He's got some strong uh, attack and defense. Uh, he's pretty strong physically, and he evolves first, so if you want to get a good head start, I think Turtle is a good one, but unfortunate, sorry, um, he fully evolves first, so he'll be in this third evolution stage, uh, but unfortunately it takes the longest to actually get to, get to become this next one. Anyway, also Grass Ground is a bit weak, uh, it's a bit, uh, susceptible. Chimchar is resistant to a lot of early Pokemon, and he's pretty good in his offense, but he's a bit weak in defense, and he doesn't really learn many useful moves at first. Uh, and this is Piplup. Piplup is an all-average fighter. He has some really good special stats and some good moves, too. He's resistant to 12 types when he officially, when he fully evolves, and he has quite a unique uh, type combination, like water steel one eventually. Anyway, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm gonna pick Turtwig, but I think the best choice is Piplup. I just like Turtwig, because Turtwig's cool. Anyway, this is a Starly. Starly is common to find. He has great attack as well. Um, well, for this early in the game. But he has some really bad defense, and unfortunately, he doesn't learn the many good moves. But he's, but he's common, so if you want to get a, like a, a flying type, you may as well do it now. As you can see, there's black outlines on the, the, on the attacks, but that's okay. What will Turtwig do? Turtwig should attack! Because attacking is fun. So the Starly fainted. Anyway, yeah, here's my mouse. Yeah. So Turtwig gained experience points. Now I'll be talking about this a bit better in the later Pokemon battles. Fwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Uh, Barry always chooses the Pokemon that's super effective against you. Uh, now, the basic types are Grass, Fire, and Water. You can obviously tell that Water is going to be f strong on Fire, Fire is going to be strong on Grass, and Grass is going to be strong on Water, and then, like, the weak if you attack the other way around. But they were someone else's. We had to use them. Oh, there's the briefcase! You would have been furious if I lost it. Wait a minute. Oh no, you just used the Pokemon. Oh gosh. This is not good. Dead kids are not good. What was that about? I don't know, what's going on? Let's go. My Pokemon got hurt. If we get... Oh, I don't even have any, so... So we got to keep them? Wow. Do, 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 do. Anyway, you go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon, but I just want to spend a bit more time. What? Okay. Were well, you following me? I don't know what's going on. Uh, so anyway, yeah, let's just keep walking. Oh, great, they're blocking our path. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Well, every old person stares at us. You smell funny as well. Hmm. I heard that from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. <laughs> Let me see them. Turtwig and a Chimchar. Hmm, I see that's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Um, yes, wait for me. I think you should visit our lab. Okay. Uh, what was that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled. And we didn't want, he didn't want our Pokemon back? Okay, let's go home. Jump cut. What to do, what to do. Let's sit down on our cushions. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I... Uh, 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 the Pokemon... The professor mentioned that it's probably Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. Anyway, Sandgem Town's the next town uh, that we'll get to. Anyway, he's also kind of intimidating. I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use this Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll wonder. Um, maybe... Oh, I know, put these on. Anyway, we've got the Running Shoes, which is an item introduced in Ruby and Sapphire, and they allow you to hold down B and run fast. Like, yeah, pretty much that. Apparently, you can... Apparently, yeah. Anyway, uh, you can't run in buildings, but... For the most part, yeah, it gets you around faster than you would normally, anyway. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on running, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, oh. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this is Route 201, uh, and this is the new Pokemon, this is Bidoof. Bidoof, uh, learns kind of a, f a lot of useful moves kind of early, and he learns five of the HMs in the game, but he's kind of okay. So I wouldn't say he's the best Pokemon, but but he's pretty actually, he's actually pretty decent uh, for this moment. So I th I I'll pick one up uh, a bit later. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically, here's how Pokemon battles work. You, you, your Pokemon can learn up to four moves, and you basically use them. Now, Tackle is an offensive attack pretty much every Pokemon learns at some stage. Uh, withdraw, though, uh, increases Turtwig's defense, I think. Um, uh, bit off. I only know Tackle, I think, so yeah. I, I don't know, it dep depends, and you get more moves as you level up, and you can also teach more moves later. Anyway, uh, experience points, pretty much any RPG ever, you gain experience points and you level up. Anyway, let's talk to... Let, let's talk. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to talk to you. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the other Pokemon that you can find here is Starly, so... Um... Starly, yeah. Ah, Turtwig! Uh, so yeah, Turtwig's gonna be a bit, um, a bit of a weakling, I think, in the... Actually, no, no, I think, uh, Chimchar's gonna be the... The weakest Pokemon at this moment. So yeah, you can choose any of them. Well, I've chosen Turtwig because he's a pretty good guy, and also I used him on my uh, actual game that I, I played on. Anyway, uh, yep, we've got enough experience to level up to level six. Anyway, uh, HP is basically how much health you have. Attack is and defense are your physical types, uh, so moves are either physical or special attacks. So physical attacks would, uh, you when you use a physical attack it uses your attack, and if you get hit by one that's your defense. Same stuff for special attack except for special moves and speed determines how often you can run out of wild Pokemon battles and how often you, or how fast you can attack first, kind of stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so that's, 
I guess I'm not going to talk to you then. Uh, let's just run over to San Gem Town. Uh, hopefully we can do it without encountering someone else. Okay. Uh, so Starly, 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 Starly. I can't believe this guy has blue hairs. I don't know if it's black or blue, but... I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird. Wow, Starly, you just tackle. Oh, no. So uh, your Pokemon's gonna get beat up too, but thankfully you can, uh... The generic RPG term would be an in, but in this game it's a Pokemon Center, which we'll find out next part. Now, once I just step out of this grass, maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, so tune in next time, where we'll find more Pokemon. Yeah. See you guys! Next part! Woo!